Sweden, a country known for its craggy islands, its dense and undisturbed forests, and its fascinating, colourful culture. A culture made up of rich traditions, built and observed over many years, with an underbelly of unique and diverse customs. Recently, I made a big mistake. I set a challenge, and you guys rose to the challenge. In fact, I've seen some of your comments, and I know that some of you think it'd be funny to make me try so strumming right here on a video. If that's what you want, you're gonna have to get this video past 200 likes. And whilst I've tried some crazy local delicacies during my travels, I knew straight away that this was going to be a feat like no other. So I set my stakes high, completely unprepared for what was going to happen next. Within just a few short hours, you guys had smashed my target. With the stage set and the challenge on, we packed our bags and headed up to Sweden's high coast, to the birthplace of Sir Strömming because I read your comments, and if I was going to do this, it had to be done properly. Because you've seen people try Sir Strumming from a can done before. You wanted me to give this dish a fair shot and try it with people who knew what they were doing. So we booked a hotel in Önholzvik and traveled over eight hours with one ambition, to try Sir Strumming the proper way, in the proper setting. We were just hours away from taking the journey out to Ulvern, the island where it all began, and from completing a challenge like no other. <laughs> Here we are today. I guess is the day. Um, a deal is a deal. And for some crazy and unknown reason, I decided to promise you guys that I was going to try Sir Strumming if I got 200 likes on that video, um, which unfortunately I have. So here we are. We've driven all the way up to the high coast of Sweden. And today I'm going to be trying Sir Strumming. Oh, what have I done? I don't even know, like, am I going to be sick? Am I going to, am I going to get past the smell? Like, it's just, there's so many unknowns. Um, and I wish I could back out, but it's too late. <laughs> so now I guess I'm just going to have to live with the consequences. <laughs> anyway, it's an early start. We've got to head out, catch a ferry. And I promised you guys I was going to do this properly. So, um... Let's go give it a go, shall we? I'm headed out to the place where it all began, out in the archipelago, 30 kilometers south of Ernholzvik on Sweden's high coast, to the island of Ulvern, where locals have fished strömming since the 1500s. In fact, the first fishes in this area were likely from Jävla. They started making the commute up the coast in Norland in search of better catches, but the journey home was often treacherous, approximately 300 kilometers as the crow flies, and it often took upwards of a week to make it back home. So eventually, the fishermen began to settle around Ulvern Harbor to sit out the winters and travel back when conditions were more favorable but they needed a way to preserve their catch over the long winter months, which is when they began to use fermentation in a process that often takes up to eight weeks to complete. This gave them a product that would last longer and keep for the journey back to Jävla to sell, now known as Sir Strömming. And it's this fermented herring which I've got the pleasure of trying today. Okay, you guys, the moment has come. It's time for me to try Sir Strumming for the very first time and on camera too, what am I thinking? <laughs> Let's hope that I'm not sick or, you know, like I don't hate it because this moment goes down in YouTube history and it exists forevermore. 
But uh, regardless, just before we get started, I just wanted to say I saw lots of your guys' comments when I first set this challenge. I know you said, if you're going to do this, do this properly. We don't want you to just go down to Ica and try it out of a tin. You want to try it fresh, sustorming, with people that know what they're doing. And I took your demands very literally. And I have come all the way up to the high coast and to none other than the birthplace of sustorming, the sustorming mecca, if you will, um, where I'm going to be down there in just a couple of minutes time trying sustorming live on camera. Okay, I guess I've put this off enough and it's time to get on with it. Or so I thought. Despite our best efforts to research and prepare, we couldn't find Sir Strumming anywhere on Oliverne. Turns out we were too early by just a couple of weeks, as the eating premiere usually occurs on the third Thursday in August. So with great disappointment, we left Oliverne dejected and with my challenge still very much incomplete. But we didn't give up hope just yet. Coming home empty-handed wasn't an option. The search was on. We had to find somewhere on the high coast that served Sir Strumming the proper way. And after hours of searching, we struck gold. We found one of the very few hotels in the world that served Sir Strumming on their evening menu. And better yet, it was served by a local Sir Strumming expert and legend, famous in the region for his many years experience preparing this dish out on the island of Olverne in the very restaurant we tried to visit just a day earlier. So we booked our room, packed up our car and hit the road again, this time headed for Seleftio and for Sir Strumming. And now for the moment that you guys have all been waiting for. We drove it all the way up to Hergekusten in Norland, all the way out to Ulvern, and now we're here in Seleftio and finally sat right in front of me is Sir Strumming. I've got two different variations that I'm going to be trying for you today, live on camera, and you guys wanted me to do it properly, so you can't get it any more proper than this. Here in front of me we've got uh, one version which has got some blackberry jam on top, and you can see the Sir Strumming underneath, and then some creme fraiche and some potato, and then on the other side here we have got uh, pickled onion, tomatoes, and then uh, the same combination below. So I'm excited to see how this turns out. I've got my trusty water at the side here, just in case I need it, because we all heard this can go one of two ways. <laughs> okay, there's been enough build up, let's just get started, shall we? So I'm gonna start off with the pickled onion. Wish me luck, everybody. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, yeah, I have to admit, that was different to what I was expecting. I guess there's so many different flavors going on that you don't actually really get that signature smell until after you've actually put it in your mouth. So um, I tasted it. It tasted kind of like a camembert cheese or like some kind of really strong cheese, something like that. Um, and then it's not until afterwards that it comes down your throat where you get that like kind of aftertaste that is like that signature fishy smell that you're expecting. Um, but I have to say, it's, it's better than people give it credit for. But we'll, we'll go with the other one now too, uh, the blackberry jam, and see how that compares, because I'm assuming this is going to be a little bit sweeter. Mm. Yeah, I have to say, the extras make all of the difference, because um, the two different types of system that I tried, just the, the aftertaste that you're left with was totally different. Um, when you've got the jam, instead it's so much sweeter, um, and it kind of masks the flavour a little bit more. Uh, whereas the, the pickled onion, which I would actually say was probably my favourite of the two, um, really left you with quite a strong aftertaste of the fish. And I can kind of see why people are a bit sceptical just based on the aftertaste. It's, it's a lot to deal with um, and it's not something that I want, you know, on my dinner every night of the week. But it was cool to try all the same. So there you have it, guys. A deal is a deal. And I finally come through and tried sis drumming on camera, just like I promised. Uh, it took a little bit more work than I expected. I must admit, I thought it would be enough just to come up here and give it a try on the Hugger Kisten, but uh, it was wasn't to be. I think we're a little bit early for the Sir Strumming season, so that probably explains why it's been a little bit more tough. But it was worth the wait, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys thought. Let me know in the comments below. Did I do it properly? Was there another variation that you'd recommend or that you think people should try? You've got to let us know down in the comments below. And then I guess if there's anything else that you think I need to be trying, weird or wonderful, while I'm here in Sweden, drop that in the comments below, and I'll try not to set the bar so low for the number of likes that we have to do to get that done next time. But that's all I've got time for today. So thanks for checking out this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop me a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you again sometime soon. Till then, it's time for me to go and enjoy. So left you. See you later.